welcome to shivakumar classes this is the third lecture which i am doing on the underwriting of the shares already which has been completed complete underwriting is the lecture 1 and partial underwriting it is in lecture 2 and this is the firm underwriting into the lecture 3 and fourth one i am going to do it is the uh, 14 marks problem which is mainly relating to the examination treating the Uh, firm underwriting as the marked application and also firm underwriting as the unmarked application, which is going to be my next video. Uh, if I do that problem, it will be covering of the one full chapter. Is that so? All that link will be provided into the description box. Now today I am going to do the problem based on the firm underwriting. The firm underwriting is always treated as the unmarked application. What is this firm underwriting? An underwriters underwrites extra number of shares for their own use, irrespective of the number of shares which has been completed. And what is the speciality of this two thousand sixteen problem of Bangalore University, which is given here? It is that this one problem is consisting of the partial underwriting and also the firm underwriting, both the things. So one problem will make you to understand the. Partial and also the firm underwriting both at a time. So okay, let us directly enter into the problem. Those who are very new to my channel, please subscribe my channel for the further notifications. A company issued fifty thousand shares. These shares were underwritten as follows: X thousand ten thousand shares, Y fifteen thousand shares, Z five thousand shares. In addition, there was a firm underwriting as X five thousand. Shares Y two thousand shares and Z thousand shares. The total subscription was forty thousand shares, and the forms included the following marked forms: X ten thousand shares, Y ten thousand shares, and Z five thousand shares. Determine the total liability of the underwriters and the company. They are given that company also. It is given there. You see that. Now let us make that problem. It is very easy. Company issued how many number of shares? Fifty thousand number of shares. X under written how much? Y under written how much? And Z under written how much? X has been under written ten thousand. Y ten thousand. Sorry, fifteen thousand. And Z it is five thousand. So ten plus fifteen twenty-five plus five it is. Thirty thousand shares has been underwritten by the underwriters. So difference it is twenty thousand. Who should sell it is that company should sell. Next, firm underwriting. Firm underwriting. X it is five thousand. Y two thousand. Z one thousand. Overall. Eight thousand. Next, coming to total application received. The total application received is forty thousand, of which marked application it is X, Y, and Z. X consisting of ten thousand, Y consisting of ten thousand, and Z consisting of five thousand. Overall. Application received is twenty five thousand. Then how much is unmarked? It is fifteen thousand. So when nothing is given, it means that this fifteen thousand is including the including firm underwriting, including firm underwriting. That is the meaning. That now let us enter into the problem directly to work it out. Calculation of unmarked application. Total application received is forty thousand less marked application. Marked application of X, Y, and Z. X is ten thousand. Y is ten thousand. Z is five thousand. Total it is twenty five thousand. Therefore, remaining fifteen thousand. This fifteen thousand is called as the unmarked application. it means when nothing is given it is called as including firm underwriting that is the meaning now we got what is the unmarked application now let us enter into the problem now gross liabilities the gross liabilities first person is underwritten it is 
10,000. Second person it is underwritten 15,000. And third person it is. Oh, we have to make one column. It is the company column. And next one is the total column. Yes. Third one it is the 5,000. And in company column it is 20,000. And overall we get here it is 50. You see what is the gross liability ratio you get it is 2 is 2, 3 is 2, 1. Yes. Next one is the less unmarked application. The unmarked application should be distributed always to the company column. 15,000 shares. When you minus the 15,000 shares, the balance what you get it is 10,000, 15,000, 5,000 and 20 minus 15 is 5,000, 50 minus 15 you get it is 35,000, you add up 10, 25, 30, 35 you get. Less, marked application, the marked application of X is 10,000, uh, Y also it is 10,000 and Z it is 5000 that will not come for the company column now make a balance of this one the balance 10,000 minus 10,000 it is nil 15 minus 10 it is the 5,000 and 5,000 minus 5 it is the nil in company column 5,000 it is the pending so 5,000 plus 5,000 it is 10,000 balance is there now with this what you have to do this is total is 25,000 35,000 minus 25,000 you get 10,000, 5,000 plus 5,000, 10,000. Now add firm underwriting, firm underwriting, firm underwriting of the first person is 5,000, second person is 2,000 and third person it is 1,000 dash. You get overall 8,000. So total net liability is that net liability is equals for x it is 5000 for y it is 7000 and for z it is 1000 and company it is 5000 7 plus 5 it is 12 and plus 1 13 13 plus 5 is 18 18000 you get in both the sides total you see that that's it about this problem thank you very much for watching the video in case of any clarify, so please comment. You can clarify through the comment box. Those who are very new to my channel can subscribe my channel for the further notification. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.